In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own. But they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring them proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to its according to need. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has since been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. A reading from the letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by Him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey His commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep His commandments. And His commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all stand. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. 
As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now, a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in His name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa Parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. When Jesus appeared to His apostles after His resurrection, one of the first things He did was to show them the wounds in His side and in His hands. And He asked them to touch His wounds. Why? Why did he keep his wounds? Why not remove them? Pwede namang tanggalin na ni Jesus yung kanyang mga sugat. Pwede naman, bago na eh. That's risen from the dead. Yung pagtanggal lang ng peklat, madali na lang yon para sa kanya. Pero bakit hindi tinanggal ng Panginoong Jesus ang mga peklat ng kanyang mga sugat na tinamo sa kanyang pagkapako sa krus? sa kanyang dinanas na hirap. According to some, to some biblical scholars, it is because through the pains of his wounds and sufferings on the cross that he showed his love for us. They are wounds of love, proofs of love, and from the open wounds of Christ flow love and mercy. Today's second Sunday of Easter is Divine Mercy Sunday. And in our gospel, Jesus reveals His mercy to His disciples, even if His disciples left Him during His persecution, even if they showed cowardice, even if they betrayed Him, even if they doubted Him, Instead of getting mad, Jesus told them, Peace be with you. Peace be with you. No hard feelings, no grudges, only forgiveness. Napakagandang tingnan natin ang ginawa ito ng ating Panginoong Jesus. At sino kaya sa atin ang mayroong kakayahan na pagkatapos kang iwanan ng ikaw ay naghihirap, pagkatapos kang talikuran, pagkatapos kang idenay, Pagkatapos kang traidorin o gawa ng masama, ang sasabihin mo ay, peace be with you. Meron kayang kayang gumawa nun? 
Wala. Di ba? Sinaktan ka eh. Tapos sasabihin mo, peace be with you. Sana magkaroon ka ng kapayapaan sa puso mo pagkatapos mo gawin sa akin ito. Para ang hirap gawin, ano? Pero pinapakita sa atin ng ating Panginoong Hesus, pagkatapos ng nangyari sa Kanya, pagkatapos ng Kanyang dinanas na hirap, ang dala pa rin niya sa Kanyang mga alagad na hanggang sa panhong iyon ay meron pa rin nagdududa sa Kanyang kakayahan. Ang sabi pa rin niya ay, sumain niyo ang kapayapaan. My dear brothers and sisters, God is merciful. He forgives us every time we ask for forgiveness. May we also learn how to forgive and how to show mercy to those who hurt us. And if it is hard for us to forgive, remember, we do not wait until we feel good before we forgive. We decide to forgive so that the healing of hurts can finally begin in us. Kasi kung nadalasan, sinasabi natin, hindi ko pa kayo magpatawad, masakit pa eh. Hindi ko pa kayo magpatawad, mabigat pa sa, sa kalooban ko. Pero ang sinasabi sa atin, we have to forgive so that the healing of hurts can finally begin in us. Para magsimula ng maghilom ang sugat. At ang pagpapatawad, ang mercy, ay hindi din deserve Paano sabihin, patawarin mo na ako. Ako yung nagkasala. Patawarin mo na ako kahit hindi ako deserving sa iyong pagpapatawad. Pag pinatawad natin ang taong hindi deserving ng pagpapatawad natin, then that is mercy. At yan ang binibigay sa atin ng paating Panginoong Diyos palagi. Kapag tayo nagkakasala, kapag tayo bumabagsak, kapag tayo nakagagawa ng hindi maganda, kapag tayo lumapit sa Kanya at humingi ng tawad, ang pagpapatawad ng Diyos sa atin ay habag. Because we don't deserve God's mercy. Because we are weak. Dahil sa pagmamahal at habag ng Diyos, tayo Kanyang paulit-ulit na pinapatawan. So let us live our life with no hard feelings, no grudges, only forgiveness, and that will lead us to experience and share Christ's peace. Kapag tayo nakapagpatawad, kapag nawala na yung mga galit sa ating puso, mararamdaman na natin ang tunay na kahulugan ng, ng salitang kapayapaan. So, Happy Divine Mercy Sunday sa bawat isa sa atin. Amen. Please all stand. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We are among those who believe in the resurrection of Jesus even though we never put our fingers in the nail marks on his hands, nor touched his wounded side, let us renew our profession of faith in the risen Christ as we address our petitions to him. Our Lord and our God, hear us. Our Lord and our God, hear us. That both the universal church and its local community may always offer the identifying example of unity, sincere devotion, and care for the poor. Let us pray. Our Lord and our God, hear us. That our ecclesiastical organizations and institutions may become factors of renewal in the Church, 
and agents of evangelization in the society, let us pray. Our Lord and our God, hear us. That those who, like Thomas, find it difficult to believe in the resurrection may see its proof in the life of authentic Christians, let us pray. Our, our Lord, Lord and our, our God, God, hear us. us. That all Catholics may avail themselves of the sacrament of confessions as the ordinary means to experience the power of resurrection in their spiritual life, let us pray. Our Lord and our God, hear us. That all of us may become active promoters of the peace of the recent Christ in our families and society, let us pray. Our, our Lord, Lord and, and our, our God, God hear, hear us. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gifts of your resurrection, your presence and the Holy Spirit. May they bring us ever closer to you and make us signs and instruments of the new life you gave us, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. Above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he. Who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
May Cody, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace be with you. of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away Sins of the world, grant us peace, grant us peace. Those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Oh, 
The second collection which will be done is for the continuing development of the Paris and National Shrine of St. Father Pio and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priest of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offering. Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of these Paschal Sacraments may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for intercession to St. Father Pio, all together. Padre Pio Holy Monk from Pietralcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon on these earthly pilgrimages, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the gospel that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit, and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansang dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ng inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, sa pagnanais nating palawakin, ang dokumentasyon at datos ng mga pilgrims and devotees na bumibisita sa Pambansandambana, 
Kami po ay nag-aanyaya sa inyong lahat na makilahok sa ginagawang pagkalakap ng impormasyon na makakatulong sa pagpapaunlad ng ating turismong pangsimbahan. Makikisuyo po kami na pakiscan ang QR code na inyong makikita sa paligid ng simbahan at pakikumpleto ng mga impormasyong kinakailangan. Makakaasa po kayo sa aming pag-iingat ng private information na inyong ibabahagi bilang pagsunod sa batas ng Data Privacy Act of 2012. Ang inyong pakikiisa ay malaking tulong at susi sa tagumpay ng proyektong ito at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas na religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa timtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang buka ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin, mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan, na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin, upang ang lahat na tumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ang mga santo, Magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gifts of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessing. Amen. Amen. May He, who, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered gold in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.